What's going on everyone? I appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Fallout 76 nuking experiment. I haven't done one of these in quite some time. This is probably going to be my last one that I'll do until Wastelanders officially releases in the game. So go ahead if you want to help support the nuking experiment series to just leave a like on this video for one of the last experiments before the new massive DLC comes out. By the way, if you're interested in this series to just check out other locations that have been targeted, I'll have a link down below in the description to the whole Nuking Experiment series so you can check out every episode that we've done. And it's been a lot of fun with my buddies to make. We've had a lot of good times. In this one, I'm going to be targeting where the Settlers Foundation settlement will be at when the Wastelanders DLC officially releases into the game. The reason why I'm doing this is purely for documentation because I'm not exactly sure if we're going to be able to target this area in the future. The settlement might not be able to be hit with a nuke. It could be in a protected zone. I'm not exactly sure. I've also already targeted the crash space station too where the Raiders settlement will be at called the crater just once again to document the area. For one example the area is going to look completely different so it's kind of cool to just look back at these to see how much has changed. Also of course as always I'm going to be showing y'all what's all available around this area too as far as enemies go and flux. Let's go ahead and see what happens because who knows in the future we may not get to target this location. Lift off. <laughs> Players in this server have to be wondering why in the world is this area a target? Then again, seeing Rifle Gaming has launched a nuke, I think some people can understand why I'm targeting such a random area. I'm always targeting random places to see what happens. I hear it setting off. Let's get over there. I know we're not going to get like a special boss or anything, but it's cool to kind of show what this place looks like nuked now in case in the future, once again, we're not able to target it. So it's something to look back on. I want to get up close and personal and see it actually crash on top of the tower over here. There it is. Well, geez, that came down pretty quickly. Dad, got it! <laughs> All right, let's go check out this place. I'm definitely going to start up the workshop here. That was hilarious. I tried to get close enough so we could see it actually get bombed, but I wasn't fast enough, sadly. Dang it. Kinda got to it. So I guess I should start picking up the flux around. Of course, there's tons of yellow cake. Yellow cake is everywhere around on the map. Everywhere. It's the most common kind of flux you can get. I'm super excited to see how different this actually looks in Fallout 76 Wastelanders, and I'm curious if we're gonna be able to even nuke this area. Claiming this workshop should reel in a bit more enemies to this area. This is weird. It's not letting me claim it. I just did that. Alright, there we go. Sheesh. Took you long enough, workshop. Gosh. And bada bing, bada boom. We got it claimed. A glowing hermit crab! <laughs> wow. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen that many of these. I've seen Scorched around the Scorch Beast Queen, but not many glowing hermit crabs. I'm gonna get a picture of you. Don't kill it. He's so angry. Ha ha! All right, that's all I wanted. Now it's time to die. That's hilarious. I didn't know a hermit crab spawned up around here. It's kind of crazy to think about everything that we're seeing right now in this video is going to look completely different in Fallout 76 forever. Who knows, there may be a mod implemented in the far future where we can play the original Fallout 76. I don't know. Get out of my power armor. This is going to hurt. Come on. A little faster. Ah! No! I thought I had it ready! Dang it! So much death. All right. I'm going to go back over there. Maybe enemies just aren't spawning here at the moment because um, we just nuked the area. Heard that's a little glitch that happens sometimes when you nuke an area. All the enemies end up being dead. Sometimes that happens. It's a weird glitch. Uh, what the heck? That Mr. Handy robot just fell over as soon as I was talking about how enemies just die. That was funny. I should also be checking all the flux around here. I checked for like a brief moment, noticed that there's a lot of yellow cake, and I just stopped, and yeah. I'm seeing a lot of yellow cake. I got distracted. Oh, there it goes, feral ghouls. Wow. 
Ooh! Nice! Now we're in business! This is... Ooh, that's a three star! I need to get up higher. Hey, this actually didn't turn out to be such a dud after all. That was only the first wave. Nice! Nice! Still not as many as, you know, say like White Springs or whatever, but... This is better than some other locations. This isn't super horrible. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty bad, but at least there's some enemies. I've targeted locations where there is nothing at all going on. It was just a total dud. Like the crash space station, for instance. <laughs> there's hardly anything there. But it's all about just documenting areas, you know, something to look back on. This could be our last time that we have to really defend Spruce Snob. It's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. Brings a tear to my eye. I'm just kidding. But seriously, it's kind of crazy once again to think about. All right, we got one more. Ooh. Yes. Sorry. Raw. This just came in the atomic shop today. It's pretty sweet. I really like this emote. <laughs> we all got it here. <laughs> nice. Got some domestic tables over that. Get the goodies from them. Hardened mask, glowing mask, ionized meat. You know, the works. So far I only encountered one legendary enemy here though. That's a bummer. I didn't even really expect to encounter this much though, so this has been a surprise for me. I really, really hope in Fallout 76 Wastelanders they add new locations to Nuke that are actually viable instead of just a Scorched Beast Queen, you know. Maybe another boss fight or just another area in general that would be great to target besides just the White Springs Resort and Harper's Ferry. Harper's Ferry is a great location to target because you get the above ground and below ground at the burrows. It is amazing. Highly underrated. I went over that in the past showing what happens when we target the burrows, which is you know, Harper's Ferry as well. That looks so cool right there. You know what? Why not? I'm gonna get a picture of this because in the future, this may not be possible. Get my dude kind of looking up at it. Boom. Banger. Welcome to the top of the mountain state, highest point in West Virginia. Elevation 4,863 feet. Observation tower 900 feet. That's interesting. That's pretty neat that Bethesda decided to make, you know, the settlers settlement at the highest point in West Virginia. I mean, it makes sense too because they can kind of overlook all of West Virginia. It definitely makes sense to make a settlement up here. This would be really interesting to go to in real life as well. Anyways, let me go ahead and explore a little bit more around this vicinity instead of just here. So we get the gist of the flux around this vicinity. Cobalt and yellow cake. Cobalt's supposed to be on this as well, but it's already been picked and here. Head down toward Spruce Knob Lake. There should be a Mirelert Queen down here we could take on. And it'll, of course, be glowing. Ooh, a bunch of cobalt right here. Nice. This is a great example. I'm not using my Green Thumb perk card, so I'm not getting two at once. But oh well. Cobalt's kind of a more rare flux to find. Yeah, there's loads of cobalt. Nice. And of course, yellow cake. Oh, what the... I did not expect this. <laughs> Fluorescent. And I hear another wolf. And another? No, that's a mole rat. <laughs> what the heck? What kind of ragdoll effect just happened right there. Marlark did a backflip. Loads of cobalt. 
around this lake. My gosh. Don't do a backflip now on me. Oh yeah, the big bamboozle. I've never actually said that word out loud. I don't know how that came to my mind to say that, but it just happened. I'm gonna get a nice screenshot of you, buddy. Glowing Mireworks looks so cool. Look at all that. Banger! That's a photo. Oh, you're getting too close for comfort. Too close for comfort. Thank you, sir. Or madam, I should say. Whoops. Ah, who cares about genders in 2020? Jeez. Loads of it. Oh, I should probably take a stem pack. Sheesh, rifle, pay attention to your health, dude. What are you doing, you scrub lord? My gosh. I think this has to be an area with, like, the most amount of cobalt. This is definitely in the top five. Top three. If you're looking for cobalt, down here for sure is an area to get it. I guess let me go ahead and show you an example of what all I've gotten. Keep in mind, I haven't been picking too much yellow cake because I know there's tons of that. But check it out. Cobalt. If I would have been using green thumb, that would have been 50 cobalt right there. And I've been picking here and there. I haven't, like, searched all around this area. That goes to show that the most around in this vicinity is cobalt and yellow cake. Definitely a hot spot for cobalt. It looks so empty here right now. I know some of you that may be watching this has probably played Wastelanders, so... You can probably already tell how different this actually looks. We just doing thumbs ups? Okay. I'm also going to do my... WAR CRY! YEAH! Just because we can. That's such an awesome emote. Did he just die? He just died in his war cry. Oh, I missed it. I turned around right when he What the heck? Oh, that is great. <laughs> Looks like he wasn't paying attention to his health either. That's from above. What? Attention. Another random area. Why not? What the heck? That is such a random spot to need. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get on top of this by using my power armor. Yes! I made it! Nice! Sweet. We're on top. Spruce nab. But yeah, overall, was this place worth it to target specifically? Eh, kind of. Honestly. If you're looking for specifically Cobalt Flux, as for experience, no. Of course not. I mean, there was some here and there, but nowhere near as much as you could get at, like, Harper's Ferry or the White Springs Resort or, of course, the Scorch Beast Queen. So, yeah, definitely not worth it to target if you're looking for experience. But flux-wise, this definitely was a hot spot for Cobalt Flux, and I know that is more of a rare kind of flux to find. Now, don't get me wrong, over at Morgantown, there is some Cobalt Flux, but nowhere near the amount that I was seeing over here around Spruce Snob Lake and the channels. So if you are targeting around in this area, target like the lake so you're hitting channels and the workshop too to get a bit more experience like I was saying before. But yeah, I guess I start wrapping up this video everyone. Hopefully you found this enjoyable. Once again, I was making this to document the area because in the future, we're not going to be able to do this whatsoever. Anyways, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time everyone, peace.